working very hard on this with lots of uh, interruptions like spring break, uh, vacation, and that sort of thing. But the students are looking forward to performing for you tonight. It's a short program, so although it's warm in here, I think we'll be able to manage without too much problem. And uh, I think probably before we start, we better take time to uh, have all the students who've spotted their parents to wave and hear and wave back. <laughs> They were an early morning and along the road at the quiet first countryside church, three soldiers. They were on their way home from the war and were very weary and hungry. Yes, we probably had enough the first 
ourselves. Well then, what shall we do? I know, we could hide all the food and pretend we don't have any. Hide the food, that's a great idea. It certainly is, so let's do it right now. Yes, we better hurry. Come on, everybody. <laughs> Stone soup. It doesn't sound very good to me. <coughs> I'm sure 
doesn't taste very good. How do you make stone soup? Just listen and we'll tell you. Now everyone became very interested and they all wanted to help. First we need a great big cooking pot. Go get one.
soup looks so good. It looks good now. Why is it look even better? Put some juicy soup on. I don't have juicy soup bones. I'm going to get them. <laughs> so the farmers went into the barn and soon they returned with some big juicy soup bones.
I want to thank a lot of people because this is a way to put together. The teachers are hiding behind the risers and no longer are they going to be able to. So teachers, can you please come out? On this side, Mrs. Little and Mrs. Barlow. And on this side, Mrs. Dwyer and Mrs. Brickles. 